Hi Stampers! Welcome to Judy Stamps. This is Judy Anderson from JudyStamps.com and I'm so excited to be bringing you a really fun technique today. We're going to be using some of the products out of our celebration catalog and our annual catalog today. The technique that we're going to be doing is paper piecing. Now I just love paper piecing. It adds interest and dimension to your stamped images and you use outline stamps for this so this means that you don't have to color in all the image. So let's get started. To begin with I'm using a thank you from um, an, our stamp set. Another thank you and this is what it looks like all kinds of thank yous. I love this one. It's a huge, it takes up the whole card. In fact, I usually use it on six by six cards. Um, and the image we're using today is this little one down here with the little hearts. So I'm going to be using the Calypso Coral ink pad and I'm just going to be inking that up. And the um, another thank you stamp set is a photopolymer stamp set. So that means it's totally clear so you can see through to where you're stamping. So you won't need your stamp positioner at all with this unless you're really particular. Okay, the next image we're going to be using is out of our About the Label stamp set, also found in our annual catalog, and this is what it looks like. I love this set. I use it all the time. The particular image that we're going to be using today is this little shopping bag. Who doesn't love to shop? I know I do. So we're going to ink that up in our soft suede. And I chose these colors because they are the colors in the designer series paper that I'm going to be using today. And I'm just going to take this image and stamp it in the center of my Whisper White cardstock just like that. Wash and dry it and set it to the side because we are going to need it again. I'm going to just set this image to the side and our next product that we're going to be using is called the um, yeah best year ever um, and this is our designer series paper pack and as you can see really some fun fun papers in here I've been using it um, a lot of colors bright springy colors and you didn't see that in the camera so I'll kind of go through those again just to show you um, some of the different designs that you get in this paper. And as you can see, I've used quite a bit of it up. I'm going to be taking this paper strip. Um, that's another thing that's really nice about um, this technique that we're doing today is that you can use your scraps of designer series papers, um, even your cardstock if you want to, you know, just stamp with your cardstock and stamp onto that if you um, like to make background papers with your stamps and inks. So we're going to take our image again and I am going to ink it up again in the soft suede and I am going to try um, although the way this paper strips cut I'm not going to get too much of the Calypso coral color but I'm going to show you a little trick on how you can get that into the paper if you want so I'm just going to take this and I'm going to stamp it I don't need to stamp the whole image because the only um, part of the stamp that I really want is the tissue paper here. So it's the top part. Wash and dry my stamp. I'm going to close my ink pads. So my lights, they dry, have a tendency of drying out a little bit quicker here. And set that to the side. I'm going to go back to my first image. Let the and I'm going to be pulling out my blend abilities. And these are the Calypso Coral. I'm going to be working with the lighter and the medium color today. And what's really nice is, you know, we've, um, when these first came out, we told you that you needed to use the Memento ink with the blend abilities, not to use the stays on. The Memento ink is great for the black, but did you know you can use any of our other colors to stamp your image and then color in? That's true because our inks are water based. You can use them. So let's start with our lighter Calypso Coral. And real quick, when I color this one, I'm just going to go up and down. And I'm, you're going to see that I am leaving some white space. And that's just because, you know, your paper bag might have some wrinkles in it and have some highlights in it. I'm just going to color real quick just like that. While I have my marker out, I'm just going to color 
along the top of this image right here and you'll see why in a minute close my cap up make sure it's tight don't forget they will dry out if you don't put them on tight now I'm going to color all my shadows wherever I want it a little bit darker and along the bag top there along this bottom ridge and maybe going up and down from some of these wrinkles just to cause to form some motion in my bag now for this bag I'm not going to blend them at all but you could if you wanted I didn't want it to get too dark the more you color your um, inks on your image with the blend abilities the darker the ink gets I just want it lighter and a little bit brighter so this is just one way of using them and as it dries it does blend a little bit we're gonna put this to the side and we're gonna cut this image out and I'm just going to rough cut it to begin with so that we can cut this out now when I cut this out I'm going to be cutting along the lines and with this one I found that you really don't have to um, cut directly on the line sometimes when I use this paper piercing t piecing technique I will cut a little bit on that that line stamped line so that it blends in with the lower, um, not lower, but the image underneath where we're going to adhere this to. But these are really fine lines and I found that with um, this particular image, once again cutting to the outside of the lines, you really can't tell. Now when I go to cut along the bag here, I'm going to cut right below that line and that's why we color that so it blends in with the other part of the bag. Okay, now we have that all colored in, or cut, and you'll notice on this we don't have any clips, a coral color, and I want to add a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just reach into one of my two stamp sets, it doesn't really matter which one. Um, I want a more solid image, so I'm just going to grab this heart. It doesn't matter at this point what the image is that you're using. I'm going to grab my Calypso Coral ink again and I just want to add a little bit of Calypso Coral ink to this paper so that it blends in, not blends in, but it coordinates a little bit more with the Calypso Coral in our stamped images. And as you can see I'm just adding a little bit, just parts of the heart so you can't even tell that it really is the heart. Just adding, oops, a little bit more here I'll do a little bit more up here that one didn't quite show through okay not much just a little bit just a little bit of hint of color and now once again you if you remember I told you that um, the designer series pack it's called the best year ever and it's found in our celebration catalog are you familiar with celebration well it's going on now and it runs through March 31st and this is really the most anticipated time of the year for Stampin' Up! because you get to earn free items and this year there's more items than ever in our celebration catalog and the celebration items are exclusive they'll only be available until or through celebration you won't see them in the clearance rack or any place else sold through Stampin' Up! after celebration ends and I'm really excited because not only this, they have specific or exclusive celebration items, you can get the blend abilities for free too. Yep. And how you do that is with every $50 you purchase through my online store, you get to choose a celebration item. Now, if you don't have our celebration catalog and you're not currently working with another demonstrator, please contact me. I'd be more than happy to send one to you because I'd love the the opportunity to earn some of your business. Okay, let's get back to our technique. I'm going to grab our all-purpose adhesive and just put it here across the top here and we are going to adhere our tissue paper that we cut out of the designer series paper. And just hold that down so it sticks. Isn't that awesome? Look at that! You didn't have to worry about coloring it. Quick and easy technique. 
Well, that's it for our technique today. Wasn't this fun? I hope you enjoy this using this technique as much as I do and begin using your outline stamps in a different way and, you know, grabbing some of those scraps of designer series paper and using them up in this way. Thank you again. I appreciate your business and thank you for subscribing to Judy Stamps. Until next time, here's a great big thank you and happy stamping.